Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. My guests now are uh, two artists who are performing in uh, the US to uh, great acclaim and great fame. Now, they've just released uh, a single which is going in an absolute storm for them on uh, this side of the Atlantic. And uh, there are a couple called uh, Susan Gillespie and George Corbett. Both of you are very welcome, Susan and George. Thank you, Jerry. It's a pleasure. Delighted to be talking to you. Susan, listen, you're originally from uh, good old Kalala in uh, County Mayo. I am indeed, yeah, yeah. And uh, you you, yeah. you, you travelled you travelled over to the States? I did indeed. I came over in 1987. Right. Now, I mean, when you arrived, uh, you, 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 f- you featured in many concerts and festivals uh, uh, over there in Pennsylvania, Florida, and Nashville, etc. Yeah, I did. I, the first festival I ever did was on um, the Navy Pier in Chicago, a big, huge Irish festival. And I'd never seen anything like it before in my life because I didn't do that much singing in Kilala. Only in the church, like weddings and things like that. Right now, you were too much. Right, you know, you went on to guest on the Joe Franklin show. I was a guest on the judges. I nearly forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, and then, then you headlined your own uh, Susan Gillespie band. That was until nineteen ninety nine. Uh, yes, until I met this fella here, this queer fella, Gerard Corbett. Then we hooked up. Right. Yeah. And uh, the Susan, you did a lot of success with the Susan Gillespie band. Not too bad. I, I was kept pretty busy. You know, the, the gigs were plentiful then. So they were. So, yeah, lots of festivals, lots of um, pubs, lots of parties, weddings. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, Jared, I'll come to your, your good self now. You are, you are a, a, a native New Yorker or such. You're born in the Bronx. That's correct. Right. I grew, grew up in, the, in Long Island. Now, you're, you're from uh, an Irish family. Oh, yeah. Right, you've st- you've sort of stayed 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 close to uh, to all of that. Now you've been involved in, in music for quite a while, Jared. Also, oh, indeed, yeah, right. Uh, many years. I to say how long it's been. <laughs> right, it's a, it's a few anyway. Now you're a multi instrumentalist yeah. as, as as well as a singer. Yes. Right. No, I, yeah, I, I play chords, guitar, button, accordion. On. I play everything by ear, so anything I put my hands on, I can get a tune out of basically right well done that's uh that, that, that's that, that that's that, that takes some uh, uh actual musical talent to to actually play everything by ear yeah well it saved my parents a lot of money because I, I was one of 11 born my parents raised 10 of us wow wow yeah that's uh I saved them <laughs> you saved saved them a fortune on the music lessons now you yeah. exactly now, over, over the years, Jared, you, you, you've done the, the pubs, the private parties, the festivals, the concerts, the cruise ships, the lot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was it an enjoyable enjoyable time? Oh, it, it, it's fantastic. The cruises yeah, were fantastic. The right? cruises were the best. Um, festivals are always a lot of fun because uh, you have sound men, so you don't have as much to set up. And you get to see other musicians. <laughs> and, and you see other and musicians. and Right, exactly. Indeed. Um, now, you, you actually released, Jared, uh, in your own right, uh, a, a Sons, a CD called A Sons Tribute. Yep, yep. I was in the middle of um, doing that CD when Susan and I got together. Otherwise, she probably would have been featured a lot more on the CD. Uh, we did do a duet, and she sang some backing vocals on, on a couple of the songs. Um, but, in, you know, if it was a, if it was a year later... It probably would have been more like a duo you know. Right. right. Okay. Now the two of you, uh, the two of you teamed up in uh, 1999. That's correct. Yes. yes. And you, yeah. You, 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 I mean, it's a show that's uh, that's working for you big time. Uh, in in, uh, you're getting a huge amount of success. We are, thank God. But we, honest to God, though, Jerry, we have been working it for years, you yeah. know, out in the trenches. That's right. You know, cold winter's night, have, instead of being at home in the fluffy slippers, having to go out and do a gig from 11 to 3 in the morning and things like that. Although I wouldn't I wouldn't go back. I, this is what I always wanted to do. I, from the time I came out of my mother's womb, I wanted to sing and I wanted to wear sparkly things. Right, oh, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing just that. Uh, now the, the the show, like as well as doing, as well as doing just you know the singing and the playing and uh, the entertaining, you also uh, you know put personality into the show as well and and uh, quips and uh, so you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm... <laughs> yeah. Some people 
the Irish Sonny and Cher. Right. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's certainly a major major uh, compliment. Now listen, the 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 new song is being very very well uh, received. It's going an absolute storm for you. Yeah, we're very excited. We're thrilled. We're absolutely thrilled. And you know what, Jerry? I've known that song. So I know Jimmy Walsh. You now, Jimmy Walsh is the writer, and I wrote one verse. But Jimmy won the Eurovision back in 1993. He was the writer of the song In Your Eyes that Neve Kavanagh sang, and he won it for Ireland. Yes. A very good friend of mine for years. He's in my house the week for dinner because he likes my cooking. So um, I knew the song for years before I even hooked up with Gerard. And then in the pandemic, we were doing Facebook live shows every week from our living room, which were, again, a huge success. And we took it out of retirement. And then I decided to add a verse. And with doing the Facebook live shows, people started to request the song. So we thought, hey, hey, this, people are really liking this song. I think we should go ahead and record it. And lo and behold, Mr. Andy Cooney, we had a little bit of a birthday shindig for well, my husband, Mr. Gerard Corbett the lovely man that he is, for the first time threw me a little bit of a shindig for my birthday and surprised me, and Andy was there. And Gerard had the equipment set up to play, and uh, I sang the song, and Andy approached me about recording it. And that's how, that's that's where we went with it, and we're thrilled. Indeed, indeed. It's, it's, it's been very, very, very well received, and, uh, uh, you know, well done on it, and uh, it's top-class production, I'll have to say. Yeah, yeah, the, Jonathan Owens was the producer, and then we had a guy over here, wait till you hear this now, I'm I'm really mixing with the big boys, I was in the same studio that Billy Joel, so I was singing into the same microphone as Billy Joel, now, where would you be going? Where would you be going with that? It's got to got got, got, <laughs> got sound good, you're mixing, you're mixing in all the right circles, no doubt about it. <laughs> But I'll have to say, you know, I have to say the song is is going, uh, you know, is going extremely well. Uh, I I know it's it's not that easy at the moment and all that. But any any plans, any place along the way to perhaps uh, visit uh, Ireland and do some performances? We're hoping to, like, um, I wrote a song about Kalala, which also was getting a lot of attention through the Facebook live shows, and Andy also gave us the advice. He thinks that we should go ahead and record that. It'll be like a old time waltz. It's called Sweet Kalala Bay. So we're hoping to do that. And maybe once we have the two and see how both songs are going, we'd love to set up a few gigs over there. We know um, we know um, James McGarrity from Celtic Storm, and he puts shows together. And because we did a show for him over here with John Hogan and Mick, well, and Mick Flavin. And um, we, did, we opened up for Louise Morrissey another night at... Uh, James had sent another a few acts over, and Gary Gamble was with her, yep. and so we couple those guys. So we're hoping that maybe now we could do the opposite over in Ireland, and maybe even England, and you know, something mini, not nothing too big. Right, sounds good. I'll have to say, yeah. sounds so, sounds good. But listen, well done on on all your success and all the years uh, you've been doing it, and uh, uh, you know you continue to live shows. And listen, uh, you're well done on the uh, the, the the latest uh, song, the latest recording. Looking forward to receiving more listens. But great to speak to both of you. Thank you, Jerry, and support and and playing it for us. We yeah. really really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely.